recently we did some segments about gardening with dogs and a viewer asked that we talk about dealing with issues with cats. So we wanted to be uh, equally fair to the feline members of our audience. So I uh, want to talk about a little bit about how to get the cats away from indoor plants. The cats love to dig in the soil. They like to play with plants. And so I think it's a good idea to have lots of toys around for them. There are repellents that you can get for cats and some of them are quite toxic. So you want to read labels uh, well to, before you use those. But uh, some things you can do, take heavy duty foil and crumple it up and put it on the, the bottom of your pots and that will uh, help keep the cats from digging in your indoor plants. You can also take trimmings from your roses and just punch those into the soil and uh, make a line of those around the base of your plants and that will certainly deter the cats from either lying or digging. Uh, bay laurel can be used in the same way. Any kind of plant that's got a stiff stem like this, you can use pine cones. Just uh, make a nest of pine cones. Sick, uh, sweet gum balls, if you have those, are perfect because cats don't like that prickly surface. They also don't like expanded shale, so I've been using that to top some some of my uh, succulent plants and the cats have been staying out of the pots. Big rocks uh, can be a deterrent also for cats. They just don't like the texture of them. And most cats don't like orange peels or citrus peels of any kind, so save those. You can put them on fresh around the plants, but dry them and put a layer of those. Now, cats can be trained, but you have to be persistent with cats and you can teach them no when they're in a place or around a plant that you don't want them to be around tell them no or uh, if they're persistent you can use the spray bottle and that works really well there's also a motion activated uh, sprayer that you can use outdoors called the scarecrow that you could use to protect your garden space if you want to keep cats out of that another thing that I'll use are balloons you can tie balloons to plants hanging plants or on the stems of plants if your cats are climbing them. After the cat pops two or three balloons, they tend to stay away from those areas after a while. Another thing you can do is use uh, chicken wire, especially on new beds where you've seeded plants and you don't want the cats digging. Just make yourself a cage that fits over the top of the bed. Or even in some of your uh, landscape beds, you can put the, a layer of chicken wire down under the mulch and that will keep the cats from digging in those beds and just pin it down and cut openings uh, to put your plants in and that works very well. It also works for, for dogs too. There are plants that cats tend not to like, things like lemon thyme and rue and lavender. Cats tend to stay away from, but it's a nice idea if you've got cats at home to have some plants in the garden for them. And of course, one of their favorites is catnip. And it's an easy one to grow, but you might actually have to put it under a cage in order to grow it because uh, they'll destroy the plants when they're very tiny otherwise. Then you can grow cat grass for your plants. My cats love all kinds of grasses, purple fountain grass. They just chew it up. Uh, uh, but I grow uh, grasses for the plant, the cats, and the grass seed is a mixture of oat and wheat and rye and other gr other grains, actually. But the cats are going to just sit by the pot and nibble on the plant. Every once in a while, you might have to do a little haircut, a little trimming. Uh, and then when the plant starts to look really bad, just get another pot started. And so you might just keep a pot all the time growing of cat grass. It's a little bit difficult to get it to germinate, so I like to put it in a terracotta pot very moist soil, put the seeds in, and then I put some plastic wrap over the top of the pot for a few days until the seeds sprout, and that tends to help get it started. So grow some cat grass for your plants and some catnip, and uh, your cats will be happy, and your plants will be happy too.